Okay, so here we are in an empty scene. So let's go ahead and create a root node uh, as a 2D scene. So in here, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create our firework particle. So right click on the node 2D, click add child node, and then type in CPU particles. Okay, and we're gonna create the CPU particles 2D node. Let's go ahead and click that, and let's rename this to fireworks particle. Okay, great. Okay, so from here, let's go ahead and click emitting and turn that off for now. And then let's go ahead and set this to something like 16 so that we have more particles in the scene. Let's go ahead and go down to time and we're gonna extend the lifetime of these particles to two. And then we're also gonna set these as one shot because we don't want this to com continually emit particles, what we want is one instantaneous explosion of a, of a bunch of different colors, and then uh, later there will be a separate firework somewhere else on the screen. Okay, so we're also going to set explosiveness to one. And then we're also going to go down to direction. We're going to take the x, we're going to set this to 0, we're going to set this to negative 1, right? So x is going left, right, y is going up and down. In this particular instance, positive numbers go down, whereas uh, negative numbers go up on the y direction. So that's why we're setting this to a negative 1. And then we're going to leave the spread. Now we will go down to initial velocity. And once again, we'd like some variation here, but we do, once again, because this is an explosion, we want something large. So we're going to have the min be 300 and then the max be 500. So no matter what, things are moving quickly, but there is still a pretty significant range through which they can change. Okay, another thing that we're going to change here is we're going to go to our scale and we're going to set this to something like two and then the larger side to three once again to introduce some variation we're then going to go to color and we're going to introduce some unique color here we can just set it over to to, to this something like this something brighter that looks okay that looks okay uh, but what we're really interested in is the hue variation because we would like our colors uh, to be, uh, our fireworks to be multiple different colors. So we're going to set the variation min to negative one and the max to one. And that's the extent of this, of these scales here. And then our variation curve, we're going to select new curve and then we're just going to leave that as is. Okay. Okay, so here we are. So if we turn uh, one shot off for now and then emitting, if we set that back on, we can see our, pi our particles firing up here. Okay, and there we go, those are our particles. And I'm just clicking the screen here to trigger them to, to keep firing off. Uh, but those are our firework particle effects. So thank you so much for watching.